All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> stop. Yes. Stop. Hello, stop. everyone. <laughs> you want me to do it? I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is my boyfriend, Brian. <laughs> yes. He is my boyfriend. <laughs> Wow. And he loves ferrets just as much as I do. So today we're going to be reacting to some other ferret care videos. And I only chose the ones that were like, watch this before buying a ferret, or this is what you need to know before getting a ferret. So they're open for critique, right? Right? No? no? no I didn't pick bullying. I didn't pick any videos that were like playing with my ferret or <coughs> um, showing, I don't know, like. I was here for the TikToks. Like I got, <laughs> there are no TikToks in this. This is, this first video is the only one that we have sort of watched out of all the ones. So you sort of know what to expect with this video. But anyways, anyways. I don't remember. I am not perfect and neither is Brian. Well, Brian is more perfect than I am. True. And my ferret care guide that I made has some things that I would change. It was made 10 months ago. So we're new people where I, I have things that I would like to have done differently since, you know, making that video. So that one is not perfect. However, most of the information is pretty darn good, but there are certain sections that I don't really like. So anyways, we're gonna be watching these videos, and if any of you guys have created these, don't feel you know upset. We're just gonna we're just gonna watch them. We're just gonna react. Let's let's get, <laughs> let's get started. All right, this is a watch this before buying a ferret video, and I only chose videos that were made within the last year or so because I'm not gonna be reacting to videos that were made 10 years ago. Obviously that information is gonna be outdated. So here we go. Let's just watch the video. Mm. Oh, is that I do. Oh, oh, you're on that one. I love her so much. She's cute. so sleepy. She, she is cute. She keeps her in the basement. So usually um, when so ferrets wake up, they immediately have to go to the bathroom, but she likes to go to the bathroom upstairs when she wakes up, when I get her out of the cage. So I'm gonna show you. I wanna say something though. In the, I don't know, it was in the beginning of this video that I skipped over. This um, person who created the video said that she free roams her ferret for the majority of the day. And when she's not free roaming, she's in this cage. So just keep that in mind. I think that's important to keep in mind. You guys are caged really quick and then we're gonna take her to the bathroom. Let's open this up. She already went to the bathroom a couple times today. I use puppy pads instead of um, litter boxes just because she makes such a big mess this stuff and then I now that cleaner is notorious mm -hmm. for being a not good cleaner mm -hmm. I think um one of my friends actually recently I don't know if it was recently but she contacted the company because they're pretty vague about what's in that product that cage cleaning product mm -hmm. and I don't know if you smelled that stuff but it's it's very heavily scented but anyways she contacted them asking them what was specifically in that product and they refused to specify yeah I think in general just Stay away from things that have smellies. scented, because they're they're so sensitive. Same with same with, same with cats. Smelling like vinegar because that's <laughs> what we have to do. We clean with um, diluted, very, maybe not very well diluted vinegar. Very sensitive. Smell. He doesn't like the vinegar in water uh, cleaner, but it's ver it's really good. It's more natural. We also have a unscented just regular all-purpose cleaner, which I think is good. It doesn't smell like anything. There's still chemicals in it, but it doesn't have any of and that less, smell. Less harsh. Yeah, definitely less harsh. So I wouldn't <coughs> use I wouldn't use that product if it Wipe were me. Wipe that down with that cage cleaner, and then I put a new pad And then down. obviously she has and a water I bottle. I use this water bottle because she always spills like water bowls. Food bowl back here. To help reduce her smell, I use oh, these uh, Marshall's Ferret Daily Spritz. Um, these the stuff do not buy their garbage. Smell. The tea the tree is also is not good like for ferrets smell, and I don't really like or it. cats. Then to also reduce her odor, 
from internally, I use Goodbye Odor by Marshalls. Mm. Um, you just put a pump of that in the water. I don't do it all the time. I honestly kind of forget. But that's that good. Also Keep helps on forgetting, a bit please. To help their smell from in- their odor from internally. Just so like how the whole place looks like a dungeon. Um, the whole thing. She's like, <laughs> she's oh, shows well, all these harsh chemicals on the well, on the dungeon it, shelves. It's a basement, so. so. I mean, she's got a nice little bed. bed. Oh, look at the doggy. In her bed, I have. Uh, one of my t-shirts. So it's actually like a part of one of my t-shirts because I turned a shirt into a. That's a good top, thing so to do. The rest because I do it like clothes. Yeah, like especially ones that you've like already worn. Close to me, and she like can smell mm. me. Have I like that the top right is just here. all comfy, cozy. And then I also have a hammock down here, here. But the, the and oh, she's, she's so cute. Oh. Bottom of the cage, so she doesn't Damn. hurt her feet, but That's she good. likes to bring it in this little hammock. Well, so. yeah, it's good that she does that, but she can so easily move that. You could also get a better cage. Oh my god! And Coco are best friends. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, <laughs> Quick little uh, intermission. intermission. He's learning. Here you go. So we got Hal. Here he is. Hold on, nice Hi, buddy. Are you sleepy? You're my buddy. Are you sleepy? You're my buddy. Howell is Brian's buddy. Let's talk about their diet. Ferrets are carnivores. Yeah, Dougie. Um, which is so crazy, and that was something that really surprised me because they're just so little, and I can't imagine them eating like another animal. But I don't feed her raw meat like that. She actually, like, I've tried to cook chicken for her. And she won't eat chicken. She's really, really picky, actually. It's really fun. So you should all know, if you watch my videos, that you can't just offer a ferret meat, cooked or raw. They usually yeah. will not recognize it as food because they're bred and they're brought up on this one particular dry food, most of them in kind the U.S. are. Imprint. Yes, they, like they imprint on their food, and cats do this as well. The majority of United States ferrets come from a massive laboratory and they test on them it's an awful place like a factory it's a laboratory. factory they create this food as well which is a good marketing tactic mm-hmm. they produce the ferrets they produce the diet for them it's a monopoly yes on the ferrets, which is not yes. good because that means they get to you know have the final say in everything you know yeah, everybody it, believes them yeah and the the marshals which is where they come from the guarantee that they have is they have a health guarantee that like within 90 days i don't remember but they have to be on their food if they're not on the marshall dry food they can't get like any money back which is the for, worst for them yeah so. it makes no sense. <laughs> but um yeah you can't just you can't just give them cooked or raw meat and expect them to eat it most of the time they won't you might have a weird ferret like we had one of our foster ferrets immediately eat raw meat which was very rare to happen but it happens but most of the time it will not happen see the other ferrets eating it yeah it probably helped that she was watching the other four peanut butter and then one's like a different flavor and she will not eat that either good don't don't give those ones i'm assuming Um, she means the bandit treats Mm -hmm. but she loves dog food and i've been reading up on it and you're not it's obviously like not good for them to have dog food as their main course Mm -hmm. because it doesn't have the nutrients in it that ferrets need. Don't recommend Mm -hmm. like giving them dog food, but if they have a couple pieces here and there, it's not going to kill them. The problem with her saying that is people are going to go out and be like, oh, give it as a treat. She should have not even said that. It actually will kill them is the the funny thing about that statement because it well, because it, it, if people watch this and say, I can do this as a treat, they will probably do it every yeah. day, every other day. Because even, even a little like bit. once a week is. Yeah. Because even a little bit for an animal that's only this big. It's not like process. you have this massive 60 pound dog and you're feeding them table scraps every now and then. Put on a bunch of pictures of stones and ferrets like millions yeah of stones. oh gosh they they just they get affected so easily um, they really are honestly easy animals um i mean they do need a lot of playtime when they are awake i have dogs i wouldn't say that they are easy at easy. all i work with dogs i've worked with dogs for many years and they are definitely easier to take care of than ferrets are it's because more studied it's more it is it's more studied more people have dogs you can go out and ask more people for help and bred to be companions for for a very long time long time and cats are so so 
low maintenance. Cats could survive on their own. Like. As well. Yeah, they... You, mm. you barely have to do anything with a cat. I mean, it's good. You, you should be socializing with your... Obviously. And, but I mean. with a ferret, it's just... It's a lot of work. I would I never... it's fair to say that every animal has a challenge. Yes, every animal has their challenges. But I would never recommend a ferret for a young kid yeah, no. or... It's not a first-time pet. Or, like, yeah, parents getting them as, like, a family pet usually... It's not a great environment for a ferret in my experience. Which in my case, it's different for me. I don't need two ferrets because I have two dogs and her and the husky are best friends and they play. Nah. No. I don't know. No, I mean, obviously there are exceptions, but ferrets are extremely social animals. And a lot of people think that if they have a cat or if they have a dog, the ferret will be satisfied but the truth is ferrets cannot play the way that they want with yeah. a dog or a cat they are often way too rough for a cat they are way too rough for kittens yeah they have severely harmed kittens and cats before my cats would always get sick of them mm -hmm. like there's no way that they would be that would be enough when i had patsu and he was alone he was really depressed. Yeah, he was bored a lot. He was tired, really bored. bored. He was sleeping all the time. He was sleeping like the full 20 hours. He wouldn't play with toys. He would on occasion, like when he would get the zoomies and whatnot. It seems like they sleep less than what people think yeah. about ferrets. Because, I mean, I think people assume they sleep 20 hours, like, like continuously. Yeah. But they, they don't. They sleep, like an hour and a half and then they're up for 20 minutes and then they sleep another two hours and then they're yeah, up for they're, like an hour they're sporadic yeah with it yeah so i would not no i would not say that a dog or a cat would make a suitable companion to a ferret also because the dog and the cat they cannot be with the ferret in the cage i mean this ferret looks like it's it's kept in the basement away from all the animals so they wouldn't even be yeah. she wouldn't even be in the area where she can see the the dog and the it's cat. It's not to say that you can't just have one ferret. Yeah. But if you are going to have one ferret, then... You, you have to you dedicate gotta... a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time. I wouldn't recommend a single ferret for people who are in school. I think it would be good if you worked from home. I think that would be a good... Um, you could probably get away with having a single ferret. But mm. a, lot of the t a lot of time, though, even if you have a lot of time to dedicate to the ferret, they don't have... They don't have yeah. that that friend. Cool. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I just like can't imagine her only being out of our cage for two hours a day. Like no way. I'm happy that she, she needs. Put this she's in. an animal. She needs to be like free and like run around and. Well, the American Ferret Association, and this is one of the things that I don't like that I said in my care guide. I was just following what that association has said which is the minimum amount of time they should be out is four hours. Since then, I have really learned in my experience that you should be aiming for like six to eight and more. I was playing with the three ferrets in the cage and the two like bit down, like attacked my hand and bit down really hard and she just licked me and sniffed me and played with me and I was like, I want her because she has such a cool face. It's so sad that she judged the two ones that bit her. I mean, they're, they live in a cage all day. Of yeah. course they're gonna get Pet store ferrets tend spidey. to be really nippy. So don't go to the pet store. Please don't go to the pet store. I really wish that she said something. She has like 4,000 or something subscribers, so she definitely has an influence. And I wish that more people would talk about adopting because it's awful where they come from. I think she's not like a ferret YouTuber. Well, she's not, she's not a ferret YouTuber, but she's making this video, watch this before buying a ferret. Kids or whoever are going to watch this video and they won't... A lot of people have come to me and said that they didn't know that they could adopt mm -hmm. a ferret. They just knew that you could buy, go to the pet store and buy them, which is really easy for anyone to do. Okay, so this next one is titled, You Need to Watch This Before Buying a Ferret. All caps. Her videos, she has made a, f a different one. So I guess she got a lot of hate on it. So she decided to make a, a more updated version. So this is a more updated version. To all about Daisy and Daisy's ferret care and all about ferrets, et cetera, et cetera. So Daisy I got at Petco my senior year of high school around November 2012. And she Look is her nails. the most playful. Ooh. Look at her nails. You gotta trim those. Oh my God. That poor ferret. Sweet 
little girl. These are like the longest nails world. I've ever I seen. She's not my only animal, so she does stay in a cage. I know some people say that they let their ferrets run around without a cage, and if you can do that, that's great. Unfortunately, in our situation, she can't, so we have to Well, you could because, I mean, if you see this room here, you have a door. You, can, you, you can could ferret-proof this room. I don't know what room this is. Or your mom's office. You can ferret proof the space so that it's safe for her. My experience, I've had a ferret who does great with other animals, and I'm sure Daisy would as well, but we just don't risk it with the dog I have now. Another question that I get asked all the time or get hate on or everything like that is why ferrets do better when they're not alone. Like, why is your ferret alone? You're such a bad mom, da da da. And again, I feel like that depends on the ferret. Videos make it seem like the majority of ferrets, you know, it's fine if you don't get more than one but the the majority of the time i would say like 95 percent of the time a ferret would enjoy Benefit. company and the, the problem is people will judge this based on like the first few minutes of their ferret interacting with another ferret which is usually pretty intense when ferrets meet each other it can be a really intense encounter and i think it scares a lot of people you no know, it's just like when some dogs play and they you yeah know, they get a little rowdy and yeah loud. and so. ferrets usually play really rough with each other and the rule is if there's no poop, pee, or blood, probably okay. I had another ferret for like three weeks. A girl I went to high school with got a ferret and was severely allergic to it, so we kept the ferret at my house while she found a new owner for it. And we did all of the steps and everything to get Daisy introduced to the ferret, and Daisy just likes being alone. Because well, before, before you let a ferret interact with another one, you should always do a two-week what do you call it? Two week quarantine period. So you keep them separate, but in the same space, sort of, for two weeks before you introduce them. I wish she would explain what she means when she says that they weren't into each other. Like, if they yeah. were just like roughhousing. Need other ferrets. Most of the time, I believe that's true, but Daisy is so happy by herself. She just likes But them. how she do you know that? She doesn't like to they share. can't she talk. Like They're little, so it's not like they need eight hours a day of playtime. Like, they're little. So yes, they do. <laughs> Just because they're little doesn't mean that they shouldn't have eight hours out of their cage. Hmm. I mean, they don't need eight hours of your yeah, attention 24-7, yeah, but I don't think that that's what she means. That seems, that's a little crazy. I swear. I want to say, I really like that she's made this video in response to her first one and saying another thing that I have learned from my I last video. the general, what would make this video better is if it just wasn't titled you yes. need to watch this. I was going to say that. I, I think, think it would if be it better. Was titled my experience yes. with my ferrets. Yes, yeah. that but, would be know. good. But even still, that's kind of like Yeah. Well, I think that she just shouldn't have made a care guide. It's I don't think you should even like if you don't if you're not certain of everything, you shouldn't try and make people watch. I don't want to discourage people from making videos. I well, just yeah, want yeah, to discourage of course misinformation like yes. saying you should because buy marshall's products that's just because it it, no. it ultimately it's a living breathing animal that we're talking about we want the best for them we do something that's like yo brit try this instead or like you know what i mean i just want it to be like a nice friendly helpful that's nice thing in the comments below i did learn from my comments which i'm so people can be really mean in the comments right. when they think they're that they're right her they're way ridiculous. too often and I learned very quickly in the comments that you're not supposed to bathe your ferret. Like, some people say every three months, some people say every six months, because the shampoo strips the ferrets of their oils and it's really bad for their skin and it makes it dry, etc. So, you do need to give your ferrets bath. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't need to bathe your ferrets. You don't actually need to go out and buy shampoo at all. It's a waste of money. Yeah. You can just use oatmeal. That's what we use. Yeah, Get maybe. raw oats, put them in a Ziploc bag, poke holes in it, or you can put it in a sock. But Have you made a video on that yet? Anything? No, videos. but there there already is a video, maybe that I'll link, that I like, that shows the oatmeal soak. But you don't need to use shampoo at all. The warm water is enough to remove the excess oils. It actually does a really good job.